One of the most amazing things about Manet's painting is that it constantly grows on you and that every single time you look at it, you can spot something different. You can see a different detail, whether it's someone's hat in the crowd or like a certain motif across the bottles that he's using. And I think what's so great about what we've done with the room is that there are so many little things that you can just keep walking around and spotting. Just chose a painting and I just thought I might as well cho choose the most famous painting because it's a very contemporary image. It's full of mystery as well, but it's a very recognizably a world we know and uh, I just thought we could work with it and sort of deconstruct it in a way, which is sort of what we've done in this room. Going into this project, um, the key aim was to basically design a learning centre who would be, which would be used by um, both children and elderly alike. Um, and so we decided to choose one painting and we tried to design the space around that painting so visitors could just engage with the image in the room before going into the gallery and experiencing the painting for itself. As we had like a brainstorm of what um, we thought um, were like the most important or like the most like intriguing parts of the painting and then from that brainstorm, we kind of um, then thought about how we could display um, those parts of the painting in like a room. There were quite a few challenges in the fact that there were, it wasn't a centralised space, um, so it had to be immersive. And because of that, we took um, motifs from the painting and spread them around the room. So for example, we were really inspired by the um, little bowl of mandarins. And so we wanted to kind of reflect that in the room. And then we also kind of thought about the aura and like how the room was experienced, like the bar um, in real life. So then we went on to um, looking at how it would smell, so like the scent of the oranges and the scent of the bar and the scent of like the, um, maybe the smoke in the room. A key part of it was not only to make it immersive but also make it fun because um, you're meant to enjoy works of art when you see them and it's about spreading um, that sense of, you know, whimsicalness and um, enjoyment of paintings and not taking itself too seriously. With the um, legs, I had an idea where we could incorporate uh, shadow puppets into the room because of it is associated with the nightlife of Paris, at the, which was contemporary to the painting. So we put the legs, which is in the painting, it's in the, the upper corner. And it, it's, it's quite hidden unless you know it. And the stained glass windows also because a black kind of silhouette looks quite nice against bright colours, especially when the light shines through, it makes the room look quite beautiful. It's quite a, it, it is quite a surprise to see what's here today because I wasn't expecting some of the things because like, I actually didn't know they were going to be here. But that's quite good in a way because that means I sort of let, let go of the pro project and just let people get on with it. So this was generally my first time casually going into a museum and being surrounded by art, which was quite refreshing and amazing because it was like walking into a whole nother world where there's just so many different experiences and dimensions. I got, I got some very nice photographs of, from, from those two times we went and had a very special time with the painting, didn't we? Because we were there, no one else was there. It was really great wearing those glasses everyone's staring right close. That was amazing. That was the best bit for me was wearing those uh, magnifying glasses and uh, just seeing tiny, tiny details of the painting. That was incredible. I was just going to say one of the really unique experiences I definitely had was walking around the Courtauld before it was open to the public. I thought that was one of the most amazing experiences ever. You know, you get to see all of these paintings and drawings before they've even been hung. Sometimes you were lifting up paper to go and see drawings. It was a really unique experience for someone who's only ever been on the other side. I think art history is extremely important. Um, it just generally engaging with art because it's not just about um, the aesthetic or the you know artistic experiences as such, which is what many people 
think it is, but it's more about the human experience and um, how that relates to our present day, really. And being able to understand that and relate that to our present and see the dynamic and how it's shifted over time between art and person. Yeah, it's just extremely important in reflecting. And, but ultimately, I mean, art, you're meant to enjoy it as well. So I think that's what underpins everything.